elevated everything so I can work on these guys here. Uh, I want to be able to disassemble this because it's going to be expandable and, and also it's going to reside at my house. I have a soundproof room there where it will go with the dust collection system and everything. I'm going to attach uh, these guys from here to here but I'm going to do that with screws. I bought some quarter inch uh, screws that are going to that so I'll be able to disassemble this kind of uh, truss that will go down here and that's um, and my lead screw will attach to that So I have everything clamped down in position. I tighten up these guys here. And I'm gonna add a center beam right here. Last thing I want to do is add some cross braces like this. I'm just going to mark this over here. Uh, we can talk more Trump if you'd like to. No. No, you don't want to talk more Trump? Nope. How about gun control? Want to talk a little gun control? Nope. No gun control? What about abortion? Want to talk abortion? Nope. Chuck Strong. Let's talk Chuck Strong. What do you say? Okay, well, we're going to work on the y-axis today, and uh, I'm here at Goodwill, and we're going to try to find some roller skates. I think they probably have them for like six bucks or so, so let's go take a look. <clears throat> Look at that. Never even been used. Seven bucks, guys. I'm going to put a bearing here on the bottom. Sticking out a little bit. And then bearing here on the side or the top that's how it's gonna go so picture this with the bearings and then there'll be another one on the other side and then another one on the bottom and then another one on the bottom on the other side okay the bearings need to be offset from the center so this won't scrape <clears throat> So I made myself this template uh, out of the same square tubing and I just clamp them, clamp them together like this. And I use this template for all the holes everywhere. That way uh, I'll know that they're, you know, they'll be the, the, at the exact same position. This is going to ride like so. And then I'll have one on the other side. 
and then two more on the bottom. But that's pretty smooth. This is what my bridge is going to look like. Uh, basically, there's a four inch gap here. It's going to be taller. Right now, I just have it rigged with clamps and stuff so that I can assemble the, the carriage. And I got my parts here uh, all done. So now it's just a matter of uh, clamping these in position. Now the bottom one is just going to assemble it up here. doesn't bind anywhere. <clears throat> All right, I just spent a lot of time making sure that uh, the carriage is going to be square to the top part and making sure that all the bearings are spinning and um, I have everything clamped on now and in position so what I'm gonna do now is um, take some one inch flat bar this is eighth inch thick and I'm going to well uh, put them here on the side from one end to the other while everything's clamped of course. Out of pure coincidence uh, this happens to be a perfect square. Alright so these are now just gonna go like this. So now these top and bottoms are joined together and now I just want to join left to right. So to join these two together I'm going to just use more of this one inch flat bar and put it in just like that. Uh, and I'll just use uh, another one for a spacer down here. Alright, so everything's tacked together now, so let's take out these clamps and see how it looks. Killer man. Now my lead screw is probably gonna go here somewhere, uh, pushing it, pushing this from the from the middle of it, and the motor is gonna be over here. Um, so I think that'll work out.